Hello everyone, my name is Dredden and today we are going to talk about tracking animals. Okay, Elf 18 has brought in a couple of changes to hunting. It's not really bad, it's actually quite good. Um, we have spawned ourselves in a couple of critters over here. Call this kind of like a little farm. A little zoo maybe? Anyhow, um, what we're going to do is we are going to just take a look real quick at some of these skills that we can possibly buy. So over in perception animal tracker is probably one of the more useful ones if you're gonna get into hunting a lot it is quite interesting so right now if you were to let's take off our special modes if you were to take off god mode and we were to crouch nothing really happens you can't see any little animal tracks or anything right above your little perception icon in the bottom left corner right there's nothing there stand up nothing sit down nothing okay but once we start buying a, the skill animal tracker the first level lets us actually see small animals like snakes and chickens so that's kind of a cool thing i think it even does rabbits but let's find out so if we crouch it takes a couple of seconds does it say there's no animals here it doesn't say there's no animals here Okay, so now we see some animals. In fact, we see a snake right over there by the southwest, and then there's two over there by the west. So if we take a look in our little set of pens here, I may actually just go into fly mode because it's a little bit easier to see. This is where the snake is, and you can see it starts to flash when you get really close to it. Looks to be about four blocks away. And over here, you can see that there's some other animals. Oh, we're not flying anymore. We're not tracking animals. <laughs> so let's go back down to the ground. It's a little bit, you know, weird when you're flying about. It's not, not the same because it's not the same as in game. So there's the rabbit and there's the chicken. Great. And so then, yeah, that lasts for a little while and you can tell like we're tracking them right now. So then next level is a matter of getting a couple more things here. We need to have a higher perception. Ultimately, I want to bring this up to level five, so I need to, I'm just going to buy up all these levels real quick because, you know, you have to have them to do all the animal tracking. So, trail finder, this one here lets you see deer. And so there are the two deer, both the doe and the buck. And next we have, I'm curious about if we can see Grace. Um, I don't actually know. But I put her in there just to see. Um, so this one is boars, so. We cannot see Grace. But <laughs> she's been so mutated that I guess she doesn't count <laughs> as a pig anymore. So the boar is just over there. Um, and right in here, there's that guy. Okay, so next we can see if we have this one here, because wolves are coyotes. And what's in here? We've got our coyote. Great. Oh, who's this? That's a pretty kitty. Uh, and it does dire wolves. So that's nice. So it should do the little wolves as well. But one thing I wanted to check out really quick was, does it do dogs? They're kind of related, right? But no, because they're zombie dogs. They are not really a thing that gets tracked. At least not yet. And maybe there are ways to adjust that, um, probably with tags in the XML. Okay, anyhow, the last one of these is the Bloodhound. So, predators like mountain lions. I guess it's because mountain lions are especially stealthy. There's that one. Ah, and you see over here, there's a bear. Hey there, bear. So it also lets you track bears, which is good. Does it do the dog now, though? It does not do this dog. Okay, um, that's pretty much that for animal tracking. So if we wanted to look at how to make our hunting a little bit more effective too, there is a series of books. The Hunter's Journal, volume one through seven, of course, 
gives us a bunch of good things. Which is in here, yep. 10% um, damage to bears, 10% damage to wolves, 10% against coyotes, 10% more against mountain lions, 10% more against deer, 10% more against vultures, and 10% more damage to humans. <laughs> oh, those fun pimps hunting humans. Okay. And harvest more bones, meat, and leather from animals. Okay, so that's pretty much that. So if we were to read those, of course, we would do more damage to them, and that would be fantastic. Now, if you're also sneaking a lot, you could probably also pick up a lot of other little skills. So if you're hunting at night and you had night vision, I suppose you could pick up this uh, Night Stalker level one. That would be a pretty good one. Uh, maybe the number five one here, bows. Of course, if you're using archery, you're probably going to want to use some of these ones as well, or you can go through and, well, whatever. I mean, ultimately it kind of comes down to whatever you find, but Pistol Pete, lots of these ones too. Um, there are ones that increase the damage output you get. Sniper is, of course, really great. And in terms of other just straight up skills, so if you're doing more hunting, you probably also want to pick up a lot of dead eye. That way you can get more damage done as you go. The animals also show up on your map. You can see them all right here. So I am curious about, yeah, I'm just, I'm just out of the range right now. So they kind of despawned for the moment. Uh, I'm going to go into the wilderness here and see if we can find anything real quick. Turn off God mode. And just wait for a couple seconds for things to spawn in, and let's take a look. Oh, there's something here. There's a boar over there. So all you really want to do if you want to be hunting them, I guess, is just keep track of the little guys. Uh, and I suppose you want to just get up and run if you're pretty far away from it. And I don't know if we can... Oh, oh my, it's right there. Great. So, the icon looks pretty small. But that's okay. Oh, we should... Is the AI on? I think so. We just... Yes, okay, the AI is on. Fantastic. So, yeah, if that was a mountain lion, you'd probably be SOL there. But, I'm just going to use my marksman's rifle. Get a good scope on it. Um, let's just take a look at what I have on this one here. I have myself an 8x scope if you can. A barrel extender mod uh, increases the damage range and accuracy, but makes the weapon more unwieldy to fire from the hip. So, but I mean, if you're hunting, you're probably wanting to crouch to get that sneak damage and be able to fire really far. Improves handling and accuracy when aiming here. So that's a good one. And the magazine extender I like because if you're fighting a lot of zombies, you have more shots. If you're fighting a bear or a mountain lion, you probably want more shots just to make them count. Yeah, I think I probably have AP rounds loaded, but I'm guessing that the hollow points are probably the better option for you right now. HP ones like this. Let's just take a look at all the 765 and just maybe talk about what they all do. All right, so here's the base damage of these bullets for this gun. This normal bullet just does 50 damage and 8 block damage. So the hollow point looks like it's weak against armor, so armor is increased by double because it's a hollow point and doesn't penetrate at all. And But you, if it does hit, it gets more damage done. And then there is this one here, which is just the base 50 damage, but reduces the armor um, rating of your target by 20% and seems to have a penetration of 1 and block damage of a 9. So it's a little bit more block damaging, not too bad. Degradation, I believe, I don't actually know what degradation is, but in for this hunting it doesn't really matter. So let's try to find our shot. First off we gotta get this zombie here. Um, I'm also gonna take these and just use them. And we also get whatever bonus we get, which is harvest more bones. Yes. Great. So let's turn back on the AI. <laughs> oh, I'm going to load in the hollow point, actually. 
And we're gonna track that little critter. It's over here somewhere. Ooh, sneak damage, you see? So if you're crouching, yeah, you do get this bonus against the zombies. So we're not really hunting the zombies. So we wanna just wait for it to stop, shoot it right in the head. Maybe not the best example. And so we would be able to harvest a lot more stuff from it there. Um, let's see if we get lucky and find something else. I know in my single player games, I've been kind of struggling with food, always just going out and hunting and hunt, or not even hunting. I've been going out and just looking for food in houses all the time. Um, doesn't seem to be anything. No, don't see any tracks, but there is a deer right there. I can see it right here. Let's see. So sometimes you'll be able to see the animals apparently better than anything else. So yeah, you just sort of wait for it to saunter up. <laughs> you figure out where it's going, put your mouse in its path, and as soon as it starts going and walking into it, that's how I do it the best way. So that seems to work pretty well. Um, let's try to get one more real quick. Oh yeah, I hear you, zombie. And I imagine it'll just kind of help you figure it out. Oh. What's around here? Nothing. Yeah. Okay. Okay, guys. So I did manage to find a mountain lion out here in the frozen lands. It's right down there. So yeah, you just have to crouch down. And you can see it down there. Yeah, and then once again, I guess you just sort of either wait for it to stop and take it out. Or once again, yeah, you just wait for it to kind of start walking right into your cursor. Okay, guys, well, I think that's pretty much the basics of hunting. Okay, guys, if you enjoyed that video, hit that like button and share it with some friends. If you are new to the channel and like what you see, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you in another video. Bye-bye.